Endgame DPS are two words that have never ever been said about this useless Beyond Light exotic, but what if Season of the Deep is about to change all of that? This exotic grenade launcher was the first ever stasis weapon we got our sweaty mitts on, setting us on our way to where we are now with incredible darkness fiend options like Conditional Finality, Winter Bite and even the exotic Strand Trace Rifle the Navigator, but Salvation's grip has sat dormant in your vault collecting dust, that is until now. With Season of the Deep, this exotic received a long overdue change, let alone buff, and for this forgotten relic of the past, it's absolutely game changing. The exotic cryo cannon perk still has the charge shot function, but this will now instead shoot a V shaped wave of stasis crystals, which increases in size the longer you hold the trigger to charge up the shot. You will only have to hold the trigger for about one second to get the maximum charge, and the new reticle system Bunchy have developed gives an excellent visual cue for you to see when it's at its maximum charge, as does the blue stasis pattern if you're close enough to it. Now you can shatter these crystals created just like any other normal stasis crystal by shooting, punching, sliding or shatter diving into them. Shattering three or more of these will instantly also reload your salvations group 2 with the shatter shot trait. But arguably the biggest change here comes from the new alternate fire mode with the uncharged shot. Just tapping the trigger will fire a normal grenade launcher projectile that will now deal increased damage to stasis crystals but more importantly frozen targets. From testing this is a 30% damage increase in damage caused to frozen targets which is nothing to be sniffed at and is quite frankly huge compared to what this paltry exotic previously did. The only prerequisite is to have a target be frozen which adds further breakout damage on top of the extra 30% even more so if you have the whisper of fissures equipped and with all the recent stasis goodness added to the sandbox with things like chill clip or headstone being commonplace on a ton of weapons not to mention all the stasis subclass abilities it's easier than you think to set up consistently. This damage boost boost even stacks with all your normal damage boosting setups, especially the potent fire team combos, but it's the overdue rework to another exotic that genuinely has caught my fancy. The Mask of Bacris just became even more insane to use in your favourite Revenant Stasis Hunter builds this season. Now, on activating the Light Shift dodge ability, you'll get an improved 25% damage boost for 10 seconds, not only to your arc weapons as you did previously, but now also to any of your stasis weapons too. This makes total sense and is an excellent addition in my opinion as it always baffled me as to why stasis weapons were never included and the real upside of this is that you don't even need to slow or freeze targets anymore either to benefit from it. This buff now even works in PvP too if you're ever venturing into the crucible. The only real downside is that this buff doesn't stack with any of the now standard weapon surge mods but it will still stack with empowering buffs like wells, radiant or bubbles and even your popular debuffs. But as the light shift ability will buff both your arc and stasis weapons it is an excellent trade off and you can therefore run a stasis weapon in the kinetic slot, an arc energy weapon and then either an arc or stasis power weapon for the maximum benefit with the only downside for light shift being the amount of time it'll take to recharge your dodge ability. You can however use surge mods when light shift isn't active to have an always on damage buff and then use light shift to pump up the damage potential when you need it. The whisper of hedrons is going to be excellent here as it massively boosts your weapon handling as well as recovery, resilience and mobility stats by 60 points on freezing targets and so will get you your dodge back in no time. Paired with a winter shroud gambler's dodge, a shuriken melee and the touch of winter dust field grenade, you'll be able to freeze targets on demand to get salvation's damage boost and the revenant super is going to be top tier during boss dps phases. This isn't going to be meta by any stretch of the imagination but it has some extreme utility from huge ad clearing by shooting the stasis crystals all the way up to decent boss damage especially with all the buffs stacked together on a frozen target. The Destiny item manager build link is down below for you to copy if you wish and if you want the perfect stasis weapon to pair with this build, find out why and which perks you'll be needing by checking out this next video.